the new topic catalysis to understand the process of catalysis first of all we must have to understand the term catalyst this term catalyst is first explained by the scientist Berzelius who is a Swedish scientist he realized he got the idea of the catalyst for his different experimentation in 1836 after his study after his observation he come across of a such substances which are responsible for the acceleration of the rate of chemical reactions means with the presence of only that substances the rate of chemical reaction is increasing later on it is observed by from the different experimentation experimentations some substances are also decreasing or retarding the rate of chemical reactions and finally that substances remain unchanged chemically means there are some substances in the chemical reactions which are used to to complete that chemical processes which are not chemically changing itself even after the completion of reaction but due to the presence of that substance the rate of chemical reactions alters what does mean by alters either it may be increasing or it may be decreasing a substance which is altering the rate of chemical reaction either it may be increasing or decreasing that substance is called catalyst see here carefully i am showing you one of the example decomposition of potassium chlorate whenever we are doing the decomposition of potassium chlorate under the normal conditions it requires the 300 630 degrees celsius temperature then the decomposition of, decomposition of potassium chlorate is possible then the formation of trace kcl and trace o2 is possible but whenever we are using a catalyst a foreign substance in that reaction as like the manganese dioxide mno2 then this the same reaction is possible at only 240 degrees celsius and forming the same compound that is the trace kcl trace o2 and whatever the substance which we have used in the chemical reaction that substance is available as it is even after the completion of that reaction means this substance is not utilized during the course of chemical reaction it is chemically unchanged there may be some physical changes may possible from glenmorris glen glenmorris stage to the powder stage or from solid to powder form and so on but chemically the substance is completely unchanged it is available as it is so a substance by its uh, by its only presence the rate of chemical reaction is increasing and that chemical reaction may possible at 230 degrees celsius only instead of the 630 degrees celsius such a substance which alter the rate of reaction that substance is called the catalyst this is a substance which is called the catalyst such a substance which alters the rate of chemical reaction either it may be increasing or that that may be decreasing that substance is called a catalyst and the process is called the catalysis then what are the different types of catalyst that we have to see there are two types of catalyst one is positive catalyst and second is negative catalyst what is mean by positive catalyst positive catalyst are that the substances by their presence 
the rate of reaction increases accelerates that substances are called the positive catalyst for example in this case the decomposition of potassium chloride in the presence of manganese dioxide this here it is acting as a catalyst one and the same reaction and the rate of chemical reaction is increases or accelerated and hence here manganese dioxide is acting as a positive catalyst why it is so because due to the presence of manganese dioxide the rate of reaction is accelerating or the increasing the second example hydrolysis of cane sugar this is the cane sugar formula hydrolysis of cane sugar in the presence of h2so4 that is the sulfuric acid it form the glucose and fructose and h2so4 is set free as it is without any chemical changes these are the substances as in the manganese dioxide and the hydrochloric sulfuric acid these are the substances which are responsible for the accelerating or they are accelerating the rate of chemical reaction or increasing the rate of chemical reaction that substances are called the positive catalyst then we have to see the regarding the negative catalyst negative catalyst is a foreign substance in the chemical reaction which retard decreases the the rate of chemical reaction that substances are called the negative catalysts in this reaction chloroform is oxidizing whenever it is made open in the air then it is oxidizing and forming the carbonyl chloride which is a poisonous compound and the trace h2o plus trace cl2 are the by products means when the chloroform is exposed to the air it forms the carbonyl chloride type of poisonous substance which may create the complications for the human beings or the scientists or the chemists those who are working with that chloroform and hence we must have to control the chloroform from the oxidation and for that purpose when you are adding the 2% of ethanol then what happens this oxidation of chloroform which is forming the poisonous carbonyl chloride that is suppressed decreased or stopped means in this case ethanol is acting as a negative catalyst it is controlling or suppressing or decreasing the rate of chemical reaction in the second example decomposition of hydrogen peroxide it form the trace h2o plus o2 it should be avoided and for that purpose when you are adding the dilute acid to it that will avoid the decomposition of hydrogen dioxide into water and oxygen these are the substances ethanol and dilute acid in this case are acting as a negative catalyst why it is so because in this case the rate of reaction is suppressed retarded or decreased by these substances and hence that substances are called negative catalyst then we have to see the types of catalysis now up to this point you could understand the what is in the catalyst catalyst is a foreign substance in the chemical reaction due to its presence only the rate of reaction is altering the rate of reaction is altered either it may be increased or decreased that type of substance is called 
catalyst. And the whole process is called the catalysis. Then we have seen the types of catalyst. Positive catalyst, which is increasing the rate of chemical reaction. Then we have seen the negative catalyst means what? That substances or that catalyst which is suppressing, decreasing or retarding the rate of chemical reaction. That catalyst are called the negative catalyst. Then we have to see the different types of catalysis. There are two types of catalysis. One is homogeneous catalysis and another is heterogeneous catalysis. Amongst of these two catalysis, now I am explaining for you the first catalysis that is the homogeneous catalysis. Now I am explaining types of catalysis in detail. There are two types of catalysis. One is homogeneous catalysis and another is heterogeneous catalysis. Amongst of these two catalysis, first of all I am explaining the what is meant by homogeneous catalysis. It is very simple one. Homogeneous catalysis is a catalysis in which the reactant product and the catalyst are in a same phase. Then that type of catalysis is called the homogeneous catalysis. What does it mean? Try to understand with the help of one reaction. That is the example of homogeneous catalysis. Oxidation of sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide in the presence of nitric oxide as a catalyst is a homogeneous type of chemical reaction. Means in this case, reactants, these are the reactants and these are the products. Reactants and products including the catalyst, all these are present in the same phase. Sulfur dioxide is present in the gaseous phase. Oxygen is also present in the gaseous phase. Nitric oxide that is the catalyst which we are using in this course of reaction. That is also in a gaseous phase. And the, what is the product which are formed? That is the sulfur trioxide. That is also a gaseous phase. And the catalyst which is set free without any chemical change after the completion of reaction. That catalyst is also in a gaseous stage. That is nitric oxide. Such a Catalysis in which reactants and products, including the catalyst, are in the same phase, then that type of catalysis, catalysis is called the homogeneous catalysis. Then, second example, hydrolysis of cane sugar. This is the formula of cane sugar. This is the water. Hydrolysis of cane sugar. In the presence of Sulfuric acid that is the H2SO4. After completion of reaction, the glucose and fructose combination is forming in the form of aqueous solutions and sulfuric acid is also forming or set free as a catalyst as it is. And all these the reactants and the products including the catalyst are in the same phase. It is a aqueous solution of cane sugar. This is the water. It is also in a aqueous phase. H2SO4 is in a aqueous stage and this is the product that is the glucose, fructose and the sulfuric acid. All these are in a aqueous form. Means in this reaction also Product as well as reactant, including the catalyst, are in a same phase that are all in the aqueous solutions. And hence, such a type of catalysis is called a homogeneous catalysis. Then we have to see the 
another type of catalysis that is the heterogeneous catalysis. Heterogeneous catalysis is a process in which the catalyst is in a different phase than that of the reactant or product. Sulfur dioxide on oxidation with in the presence of platinum, it forms the sulfur trioxide and platinum is set free, giving it is a catalyst without any chemical change. That is the contact process for sulfuric acid. In this process, we are using the platinum as a catalyst. This platinum is present in a solid phase. Oxygen is in a gaseous phase and sulfur dioxide also is in a gaseous phase. Means reactant and product, it is a gaseous phase, it is a solid phase. Means in the in this reaction, product reactants and products, including the catalyst, they are not in the same phase. Catalyst is in a different phase. Such type of catalysis is called as heterogeneous catalysis. In the second example, this is the second example, decomposition of H2O2, that is the hydrogen peroxide. A solution of hydrogen peroxide, whenever decomposed in the presence of platinum, it gives the H2O and O2 and platinum is set free as a catalyst B, it is remaining unchanged chemically. In this case also, this hydrogen peroxide is in a liquid phase, platinum is in a solid phase, and this is the liquid phase, oxygen is a gaseous phase, and whatever the catalyst which is set free after the combustion reaction, that is in a solid phase. Means in this reaction, reactants and products and the catalyst are not in a same phase. They are in a different phase. Such type of catalysis is called the heterogeneous catalysis. Once again I am repeating it. There are two types of catalysis. Homogeneous catalysis are that catalysis in which reactants products and catalyst all are in a same phase. That type of catalysis is called the homogeneous catalysis. Then the heterogeneous catalysis is a catalysis in which reactants, products and the catalyst are not in the same phase. That type of catalysis is called the heterogeneous catalysis. Okay. Then the remaining part we will see in our next video.